Uh, lots to talk about, and I want to start with planning what Congressman Mark Walker faced yesterday in North Carolina. Listen. We want to make sure we keep some kind of Don't order here, okay? You. So my question is why? Why are you proud of yourself for putting through the H A H C A bill with no C-bill score that's going to hurt 23 million people? How many constituents? Now, why would you be proud about that? For six and a half years, there's been fixes and adjustments made to Obamacare. Uh, the, the truth is... So this has become a little bit of a storyline over the last month or so, right? Republicans on recess going back home to these town halls, getting that kind of a reaction, Michael. 44% of voters say they're less likely to vote for their rep or senator if they end up voting for the health care proposal. How concerned are you? How deep generally is the concern right now in your party? Oh, the concern inside the party is 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 real and is palpable. Yeah. Uh, I, you know, my concern is that uh, they're too deaf, dumb, and blind to get what's going on out there. Uh, you come to the American people with uh, with the lie that you're going to repeal and replace for seven or eight years now. You get to that that precipice, that critical moment, and you got butkus, nothing. And so the American people look at you going, so how, what are you, tell, what are you telling me? What are you saying to me? So you go to these town hall meetings, uh, there, there's natural outrage uh, and concern. And that's a deadly mix for a congressman mm. um, when, the, when the constituents, whether they are supportive or not supportive of the president, when their constituents look at them and go, you know, you're letting me down, uh, that's a real concern for me, and it should be. There's been some chatter inside GOP circles, some of them, that's like, hey, these people coming out to town halls, whatever, they're not Republicans anyway, they're yep. here as part of sort of an organized effort. Uh, is that a productive response to what they're seeing at town halls? Well, it's an honest response because it is factually true. I mean, as just noted in the in the piece before, you know, the the folks there were from Louisiana, uh, who were you know five to one against the the district the congressman represents is largely a red district, solid Republican support. So the town hall meetings are not necessarily indicative of exactly where that congressman may stand with his constituents in his district. It's not like 2010, where those town hall yeah, meetings yeah. were were a lot of conservatives as well as others who were who were fired up and charged up. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.